Hey, hey, hey everyone, welcome back to Unliving Color TV. I'm your host, Alexis Monet, and before we get started, make sure you all hit that like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, everyone, so we all know that Nicki Minaj will be dropping her new album, Pink Friday 2, on November 17th. And it does look like Nicki may have some surprises that will come out before the album drops. And she did tease this in a recent video. And if you didn't hear what she had to say, check this out. Hey guys, happy Pink Friday 2. Pink Friday 2, the album, comes out on November 17th, 2023. My name is Onika Tanya Miraj, and I would just like to say thanks in advance. You can now pre-save the album, but not only that, I am going to make every Friday from now until the album comes out a special Pink Friday by giving special things. I can't say what they are, but every Friday is going to be Pink Friday. So, pre-save the album and you'll get a lot of special treats every week. Now, in my opinion, I do hope that one of the treats are Big Difference and that single does get released fully. I'm also keeping hope that we will eventually get some type of documentary announcement date or a platform that it will be shown on. But whatever announcement that Nicki Minaj has or treats, surprises, whatever she wants to drop, I am excited for. Pink Friday 2, in my opinion, is highly anticipated and it will be a moment to end this year. Now, moving along to the next topic, Ice Spice. Now, Ice was recently on the cover of Variety Magazine and she also did an interview where a lot of fans feel like she may have been shading and responding to Lotto's previous comments about the state of female hip hop and how all of the rap girlies are thriving and flourishing and everyone is on the same level and lotto did say this in an interview with jason lee about a year ago and if you didn't hear what she had to say take a listen why do you think they just do it with women though because it's been nikki for so long so you know they made they made us feel like it could only be one at a time and now we're rewriting that story and it's a little different it's uneasy it makes it makes the industry feel like oh these bitches humming. They done figured it out now. But isn't that a good thing, though? I mean... It's a good thing. It's a good thing for us. Yeah. But it's like, why is it not clicking for y'all? Mm -hmm. It's great for us. Look how many female rappers is thriving right now. Mm -hmm. Versus it being Nicki. Nicki and everybody else. Now it's... It, we all... You know what I'm saying? For the most part, we well, all I right think here. when it comes... Now, in Ice's most recent interview with Variety Magazine, she did go on to say this. It is a competition at the end of the day. People want to be all I'm a girl's girl, but then behind the scenes being B-words. Basically, we hear the girls are doing amazing. I'm excited to see it. I feel like the competition is what keeps us all excited because I think we all secretly enjoy competing and seeing who put that ish on better and who's going to get the most views. Now, in my opinion, I do feel like Ice Spice was seemingly responding to Lotto. I do think she wanted to make it clear to everyone that the girls are winning, but not everyone gets along and that's okay. It's hip hop and everyone is human. Not everyone is everybody's cup of tea. So I do respect Ice Spice for keeping it real and just being honest about behind the scenes with the rap girlies. Now moving along to Megan Thee Stallion. Now recently Megan sat down with Complex Magazine to do an interview. And during this interview she was asked if she would collab with Cardi B on an EP. The interviewer did go on to say this. You and Cardi B seem to have such a fun and genuine relationship. After having released WAP and now Bongos together, have you all discussed releasing a three-pack or a joint project? Megan replied by saying, I really think that's the route that we're going in. I've done two songs for her and now I feel like I'm in a space where I know exactly what songs I want her to do for me. So we're really building a little EP already. We're going to have enough music that we need to go on tour together. Me and Cardi B going out together will be so amazing. 
we are already so cool and i feel like we got similar fans so if she wanted to do a little ep i would definitely be so down to do that but we are making enough music to already have that now i do think a tour between megan the stallion and cardi b would for sure help both of their careers right now cardi b has never been on tour and megan is still trying to bounce back from the entire tory case but i do want to see what these two would sound like on the ep together now speaking of cardi b moving along to the final topic a lot of fans are calling kanye west out for shading cardi b and an unreleased documentary that was filmed in 2018 and this clip did begin to go viral and if you did not hear what kanye had to say take a listen that's why but cardi b was over there cardi b is a plant by the she don't write her raps she's just there to like sound as ignorant as possible and just and then make songs like come in and get some money yeah. you know she was literally replaced you know Nicki Minaj purposely that they put her there and now she doesn't know what to do and she's just a f she has no idea what the f is going on she thinks it's just a blessing from the universe there ain't no blessing from the f universe now cardi b did respond to kanye's clip on twitter by reposting an old video of him interviewing with jason lee and within that clip kanye was giving cardi b credit and giving her praises so check this out and my cousins were saying come by here yesterday but i was finishing you're working i was finishing that verse for your girl you know what i mean like i always believed in her since since she was on the show period now some fans online are saying that cardi b and kanye west did make amends and they are cool now however it is blatantly clear that kanye west did feel that way back then in 2018 about cardi b and in my opinion kanye west is entitled to feel how he feels because he is one of the greatest artists and producers of this time however we all know people can evolve and their feelings may change about someone once they work with that person, collaborate on a project, get to know their personality more, and spend more time with them as a human, Kanye may have changed his opinion about Cardi B because he did work with her on Hot Ish last year. But you let me know how you feel about these topics down below. Thanks again for joining me for another video. And until next time, bye.